So the other day I had an interview with a client and a good friend of mine, uh, a guy who goes by Christian Casanova, and we were discussing uh, things about uh, the world of dating, especially in London. And one of the questions that came up, or, or just very naturally in the conversation, we were talking about the idea of affirmations and, you know, do they work? How do they work? And and whatnot. And um, I, I gave an answer during that, but I also thought, you know what, it would make for a really good topic to, to talk about as an individual video, um, because this isn't something that's necessarily just for dating, but, you know, it is something though that can just help you in your everyday life. Um, and uh, some people certainly see it as quite a woo-woo thing, and then others can see it as like a very practical way to overcome any of their own personal anxieties or even their own limiting beliefs that they've got as well. So I want to address the idea of affirmations and what's the right way in doing an affirmation um, if you're someone who is considering uh, giving it a go and uh, using it on yourself in the hopes that it will shift whatever negativity that you might have into something a little bit more positive. So what exactly is an affirmation? Uh, just to get the ball rolling. Well, simply put, an affirmation is just a statement that you would make about yourself um, or about something in general that would be really positive. So very easily, as an example, you might end up listing something that you like about yourself. So I might say something like, I really like how charismatic I am, or I really like how my sense of humor is, or that I like that I have a dry sense of humor. I like my confidence. I like how I interact with people, you know, things like that. Now, there are certainly a huge variation in the different kind of affirmations that uh, one can give themselves. So I've kind of listed more statements than anything, but, you know, you could be giving more compliments to yourself. So you could say that, you know, I, I'm strong, I'm bold, I'm adventurous, you know, I, I like how disciplined I am. I like how productive I can be, you know, things like that those kind of compliments as well, they can put you in a really good mood. But when a lot of people think about affirmations, and I know there have been exercises on it over the years, um, certainly from like very popular influencers and celebrities and whatnot, but people think when they think affirmations, oh, I need to just write it down and then just, you know, read it back to myself. Now, do I think that works? Not, not really. I don't think that's enough. The problem with if you're just kind of like reading affirmations quietly, you're not really letting those compliments um, or statements sink in. You need to be saying them out loud. And this is where I think my feedback on this comes in, that if you are someone who uh, likes the idea of using affirmations, you have to be saying them out loud. And that would mean then that not necessarily shouting it so like the entire room that you're that you're in overhears it or that the street that you're living on, you know, everyone's like shouting like, I don't really care. You know, we're not we're not talking about this level of extremity, but we are talking about that you say it loud enough that you project your voice for your ears to hear it. Now, what? What the issue is with a lot of people when they do struggle with a lot of negativity is that inner voice or that inner dialogue that they have uh, tends to be um, very negative and it tends to put them down. And this voice that they might have, it might be their own voice that they are hearing or they might get this interpretation that they might be imagining a family member's voice, a friend's voice, a boss's voice, a colleague's voice, etc., or even a relationship as well. But point being is that when you then start imagining someone else saying these uh, negative things to you over and over, such as maybe you're not good enough, you're unlovable, you're a failure, or why does anyone want to be with you or around you, you're a loser, you know, all of these things you are just going to put yourself into um, a very negative state. And 
Um, I think I, I'm going to do a video on the concept of method acting, but um, it's in fact, you know what? I'll, I'll set a, a good scenario or, or thought for you here. Um, if and when you were in school, um, I wonder if ever you took a sick day that maybe you either called in sick or you uh, you didn't want to go to school that day and your, your parents are rushing you to get out of bed and so on. And you're like, you know what? I really don't want to school today. I'm going to I'm going to play a bit of a sickie. And you start sort of like putting on like the, oh, uh, you know, the, the the groans, the, oh, I'm in pain and I need sympathy and, and all this and that. And you start method acting. You start putting yourself in a state of negativity. And then you're also trying to convince other people that, you know, that you need them to believe that you're in this state as well. So then your mum or dad will come in or family member will come in and they'll be like, what's the matter? You're like, oh, I'm really sick and, you know, and all this. And hilariously, what has happened to a lot of people, and maybe this has happened to you, but when you pretend to be sick, if you do it long enough, you actually do become sick. You are forcing your body to be in such a state that it just convinces itself that you are sick, that you are not well, you've got the flu or you've got a fever, etc. And then you find that actually you're not having a, so much of a, a fun sick day. You are now genuinely ill and you're having to rest in bed and have tissues, have medicines, etc. So with affirmations, you know, if, or at least with the negative voice, we'll cover that first, but with the negative voice, you are encouraging yourself with method acting. You are putting yourself down and you are putting yourself into this character or victim mode that just says, not just to you, but to everyone else, all of these negative statements about yourself. And to counter that by projecting very vocally um, these positive affirmations, these positive statements, you are forcing the method acting to play out again, but this time in a very positive way. So by then you might end up changing your posture as you're saying it. Uh, you could be walking around as you're saying it. It doesn't really matter, but it's that method acting and saying the statements out loud and projecting it and then saying it in a confident uh, manner, that is what can shift your reality. Not just writing it down or, you know, sticking it on a vision board or something. That's not enough. So depending on if that is you or not, that isn't enough. You have to be saying these affirmations out loud. So what is the best way to, to do that? Well, I mean, sometimes people like to stand in front of a mirror and then the affirmations that they've written down, maybe like adding a new affirmation daily, they then will say it to a mirror and then they are looking at themselves with confidence as they're saying it. And then as they are saying it aloud, they hear it. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. For me, it's more about as long as you're saying it out loud, you need to overwrite that inner voice or inner voices or dialogue and replace them with this external voice that's saying it. As if you were kind of like a friend motivating your best friend into doing something that they needed to do. Maybe like you're in the gym and they are struggling trying to do that last rep. You would say, come on, you can do this. I believe in you. Go on, one more rep. I know you've got it in you. Those affirmations, believe it or not, that person's going to suddenly absorb that and be like, I can do this. I want to do this. And then they'll push that last extra rep, you know, and that's really kind of like what personal trainers do or any kind of coach will do as well, that they push you just that extra little bit where you don't or didn't believe that you could go any further. They've shown that you can actually do a couple more steps forward. So you could be saying your affirmations uh, in front of the mirror. You can be walking around. You can be sitting down wherever, as long as you are saying your affirmations out loud. And I really like the idea of like, if you do write them down, uh, certainly it does help to keep track of your um, affirmations as well as just seeing visually that you like a lot of things about yourself rather than uh, disbelieving that you're, um, you're a bad person or that you're not good enough. Um, you need to allow the proof to sink in that you are worthy of anything in life. Um, but something that is really good, which um, I would love for you, for you to consider, and this is certainly from like my, 
my cameraman and filming background is why not consider actually recording audios of yourself uh, doing these affirmations and then you can listen to them back um, throughout moments in the day or certainly whenever you are feeling some uh, low moment uh, taking place. So let's say you've had a really, really bad day at work, you're not in the mood or, you know, for whatever reason, there's been like um, uh, a scenario after scenario after scenario of bad things happening and you're just like, God, I just want this day just to literally be over then that would be a moment to put on some headphones and listen to some affirmations of yourself and just some motivation clips as well of you telling yourself you are good enough, you are amazing, you are confident, you know, even giving yourself some motivational talk. And I'm going to be making videos actually, which uh, is stuff that I've wanted to do for a while of um, like hypnotherapy sort of tracks or motivation videos um, and certainly some ASMR stuff which you know can also help to like calm that anxiety and uh, just remove or calm any of that inner dialogue um, that one might have as well. So certainly consider um, doing that, that listening to an audio could be great um, but more importantly it is about vocalizing um, the affirmations that you're wanting to um, to say about yourself to change that that belief. Just writing them down, looking at them on a board, or you know, writing them down wherever, or just even thinking about them. That that isn't going to be good enough. You have to turn that energy in something into something that's a little bit more kinetic, um, and then that is where you will see results. Um, it is all about creating. Um, We'll, we'll dub it energetic momentum um, with that. It's why, like, you know, if someone feels very docile and very low energy, um, in a way, you have to do workouts. You have to be moving to get that energy flowing around your body. And you'll find that will just shift your state uh, anyway as well. And that is exactly what this is with the affirmations, with more of the, uh, the verbal um, uh, sensitivity of it uh, instead. So... Um, I hope if you are someone who uh, does use affirmations in their lives and maybe you haven't been uh, saying things vocally to yourself or even like listening to recordings of those affirmations that you would give to yourself, um, I hope that you do actually take this on board and um, and give it a go as well. I would love to hear how affirmations work for you personally um, and maybe any other um, types of affirmations that you, um, you give yourself uh, as well. I would love to hear it because I think uh, especially in self-improvement you know there's no one shoe fits everyone um, there are uh, so many different creative tools and exercises that are out there and some will work for some people and some will work for for others or what won't work for others and, and I kind of like that so I'm always very open as well as very skeptical um, of different tools and exercises that people can do but um, this is certainly one of them and I think if used right it can make a difference especially if you're doing that method acting element on yourself. So try the exercise out if you haven't already or if you have I'd love to hear about it. If you can like the video, um, do subscribe to the channel and also if you have any other ideas for videos that you would love for me to do um, more importantly for me, this channel is about creating a hub of information that is going to help you with your anxiety and confidence and stuff. And, you know, I want to be making sure that as priority, I'm putting out content that is going to be beneficial for you, uh, this very moment rather than in like months time. Um, so do let me know with that. And if you are someone as well, who maybe do, uh, does have a lot of limiting beliefs and you are preventing yourself from living the life that, that you want to be happy with, then I'd love for you to also have a look in the description um, at my website. Uh, the page that you'll see there is Dating Anxiety. And um, uh, I am an integral eye movement therapist practitioner, and I actually do help people with removing those limiting beliefs and work on people's identities. That's going to just help them to uh, certainly feel better about themselves, but also to just reduce those barriers that are maybe preventing you from uh, moving forward on your self-development journey. So do check that out too. Uh, but till then, thank you very much for watching and look forward to my next video.
uh, hopefully coming out tomorrow.